The Ethnic Relations Commission, ERC, says it is reviewing a video in which well-known social media personality, Guyanese critic, is heard making racially insensitive remarks against Guyanese of African descent, Christians, and even a claim that Indians drink cow urine. The ERC, in a statement, noted that the matter is currently being pursued by the investigative team and its potentially harmful effects of ethnic harmony. The Guyanese critic, whose real name is Mikhail Rodriguez, will appear before the ERC sometime. He has come in for severe criticisms from sections of society, including politicians, over his remarks which disparage Afro-Guyanese. A petition has been launched for his Facebook page to be removed from Facebook, and there is a trending hashtag, Cancel Critic, on social media. Rodriguez has since issued an apology on his Facebook page. Meanwhile, a small group of protesters gathered at his Cane View Avenue, South Romville, Georgetown home, early on Tuesday, calling for him to be held accountable for his remarks. The protesters called for Rodriguez to use his social media platform for good and not to add to the already tense political situation in the country. You can see he's totally uneducated. He don't even know how to respond to some of the things you would have asked him. And, you know, we really don't want to accept this kind of um, thing. I mean, this is a sensitive time in our country. And I think, you know, as Guyanese, we should come together. And he could do better. Yes. The kind of derogative things he Use said about women, you know, yes. and, 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 and seamen and all kind of nonsense. I don't understand what he's doing. Here, to just show critics and tell critics how disrespectful he are because we all are black people. We are trying to fight racism and he, he's the one that trying to push fight um, wood in the fire. Meaning, um, he's trying to push the racism with using his platform. He's so disrespectful because why would he want to, every time he go live, disrespect black people over and over and over again? It's, it's so distasteful. When the newsroom arrived on the scene, the protesters had already dispersed after a heavy police presence. And you could compare your son to the president and call the president dumb. Oh, he don't even know that he won the election. Then say black people can't read and write and you have the audacity to call police on people who, who are standing up for something. He should be behind bars. Where is it that these people could disrespect authority in Guyana, disrespect the president and get off and walk free? The protesters are expected to continue their protests on Wednesday. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwal.